Hello everyone, this is Harless58 signing on to do a video unboxing, review, overview of the TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi LED bulb. Um, this is the one, the multicolor LED bulb that allows you to change between um, with the RGBW color spectrum. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and you know talk about this, about two of these um, for me and my wife's bedside lamps. So yeah, so I bought these for uh, $49.99 at Home Depot. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So as you guys can see, um, these are Wi-Fi ready. One cool thing is that no hub is required. These work directly via a app. Um, they connect directly to your Wi-Fi and then they work via an app that you can use on your phone. Um, then also because of the integration with um, Google Home, you can control these with your voice, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's part of the appeal as to why I got them. So let's see here and check out. The box. I mean, there's not much that really comes in this. Um, the box is a little beat up. Yeah, just some books, the usual, and an actual bulb, which we have right here. And nothing else. That's it. Um, so, like I said, I bought um, these. They were $49.99 a piece. Um, the reasoning behind why I wanted to use them is that there's no hub required. Actually, I want to say close to the cheapest barrier. Uh, to entry into the smart um, A19 RGBW bulbs that are around. The cheaper one is actually the Osram Lightify A19. They're on sale right now on Amazon. Two for about 68 bucks. And I'm really thinking about going and getting those and then maybe comparing them and then seeing which one I like. Um, and then if I like them both, maybe I'll just put a, a light in another room. So this is the light itself. Like I said, Osram Lightifiers are roughly $39 a piece, and then these are $49.99. It does have some weight to it, it's pretty hefty, um, which you would expect because you're paying quite a lot for the bowl. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the app looks like. So what you do is you just go ahead and you plug this into, um, sorry, into your uh, lamp post, sorry. And once you have it plugged into your lamp post, It'll beep about two times, and then you can connect it directly to the app. So here is the app, the Casa app here. Um, this I unplugged, and I'm in my uh, man cave right now doing this video review. Mac bedside lamp, that's this one, and this is my wife's. She's actually in the room laying down now. She has it set to pink at 10%. So if we wanted to, we could mess with her, turn us off. We're not going to. The app itself is actually pretty basic. In my opinion, for the amount of money that you're paying for the bulb, I would have expected a little bit more... Um, to be able to do from the app. The app is almost bare bones, especially when I'm comparing it to something like the Osram Lightify system. And their app, um, although I didn't do a review on it because I disconnected it from the hub, but when you use the hub from the Osram Lightify system, their app is pretty robust. There's a lot of different things that you can do. This is bare bones. It like allows you to turn on the light, turn off the light. You can set scenes, but their scenes are like really like, okay. I, oops, I just did that for my wife's, so now she's going to be mad. So she's going to have to change that back. <laughs> but the scenes are, like I said, pretty basic and bare bones. Um, and you can't do a lot of the things, like, for example, if... I'll go, ahead, I'll go ahead and try and show you. Set a new scene. Let's say good night. Turn everything off before bedtime. But you cannot set colors. So it's like things and actions that can happen but it does not allow you to change the colors as a group, which to me, I don't know if that's software. I would think that that would be on the software side, but then these lights have been out for quite a while. So if they haven't addressed it via software, I think that there has to be some sort of hardware limitation because all of their competition is allowing that. So I would imagine that there must be some reason why they can't do it. And it might have something to do with the fact that they're Wi-Fi bulbs versus Zigbee or Z-Wave where you can have groups. I don't know, don't really 100% know the reason behind it, but it is what it is. So like I said, you can't set, um, okay, so my wife changed it back for your voice. So you cannot set groups. So if I wanted to change both of these colors, I'd have to click on each individual one and change the color. And then what happens is, let's say if there's a particular color in the spectrum that I want to change, like I don't want to mess up my wife's light, but I click on this and then I can go on the spectrum and change it. And then I go back here and I click on mine and that I may not get the exact color, which to me is stupid. <laughs> They should be there. They should have more presets, right? And then also on top of that, so let's say you're like, oh, well, you can just change your presets. So we'll go here to settings, and then you can go to your presets.
within each individual preset. So if I change this preset here, that's for this light. So then when I go to my light and I change the preset, it's still not going to be the exact same color. So I don't really understand that. Um, pretty, it's almost a glaring issue that it seems that needs to be addressed, but maybe for some reason, especially because of the um, voice control with Amazon uh, Echo with the Alexa and then with Google Home, they probably don't really see a need for it because with your voice, you can just tell Google to do things for your lights. And so you really don't need these presets. You can just tell Google to change the color to whatever and all of the lights will change. So maybe that's the reason why they haven't addressed that. Um, so I'm sorry enough of my ranting, but that's the one thing that I would say I dislike about the app, not really the bulb itself. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in so you guys can check out the color reproduction. I'm going to plug it in right here to my lamp. Just going to go ahead and uh, give me one second. Okay, so I went ahead and plugged this into a desk lamp that I have here in my man cave. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. Okay. So as you guys can see right now, it is red. Let's see if it's going to pick up on the app. I'm just waiting for it to communicate with the app. Tell me if it's on or not. Okay, here we go. So it's showing up on the app. Let's see if you guys can see. Mac bedroom bedside lamp, 22% in red. So I'm going to go ahead and control it here from the app. Go ahead and change it to green, and I'll change the brightness 100%. It's probably going to look really washed out in the video, I'm sorry. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it down. Let's keep it around 32%. Go through all the color spectrum. So here, I'm um, basically just giving you guys an overview of all the colors to see you know what they look like. Go to a deeper blue. Go to a lighter, lighter blue here. The sky blue. Um, as you guys can see, the color reproduction is relatively um, pretty accurate. Um, I know I said sky blue, but I didn't actually click sky blue on the app, and that's the reason why. So I'm just going through the entire color spectrum now so you guys can see it in real time. Uh, I'm just going all the way through. So, yes. So right now I have the brightness set to 24%. Actually, let me, um, maybe this might help the video a little bit. Hey, Google, turn man cave lamp off. Sorry, I don't understand. Hey Google, turn man cave desk lamp off. You got it, turning the man cave desk lamp off. Okay, so maybe that'll help with the brightness on the video, I hope so. Um, so yes, so here you guys can see that. Um, now, we'll go ahead now, a perfect safe way into the Google Home integration. Hey Google, change Mac bedside lamp to green. Sure, changing the Mac bedside lamp to green. Hey Google, change Mac bedside lamp to sky blue. Sure, changing the Mac bedside lamp to sky blue. So here you can see the color reproduction at least um, based off of what Google thinks is sky blue. And then what this is putting out, that's not really sky blue, that's more of a daylight color. Um, let's see, hey Google, change Mac bedside lamp to magenta. You got it. Changing the Mac bedside lamp to magenta. So, um, so yeah. So, um, I would say the color reproduction via the app when you're actually looking at the colors is probably a nine out of ten. Um, pretty accurate. I would say via voice, it's sometimes hit or miss because it's based off of what Google thinks is a certain color, and that's what it's relaying back to the light. Um, but the response is pretty quick, as you can see, um, by changing the color via your voice no um, issues there so yeah so i'm pretty happy with the bulb itself especially via the voice integration the app in my opinion is lacking a lot but the voice integration uh, makes up for that so um this is harlas 58 signing off um with this quick review um probably more than likely like i said going to get the osram lightify bulbs and sort of compare them to see which ones um, maybe I like and maybe save a couple bucks. I might return these. I'm not 100% sure. But it's Harlots58 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did so, please hit the thump button. See you guys later.